When Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings leaves office next month, he's going to be the longest serving mayor in Dallas since R.L. Thornton, who left office in 1961. Yeah, for Mayor Rawlings, even in these final weeks before he leaves City Hall and heads home, don't call him a lame duck. He's working hard every last day. The day after the new mayor sworn in. Yes. You're at home. What are you going to be doing? Well, I'm going to uh, probably work out a little bit. I'd figure this out. If you know Dallas because Mayor Mike Rawlings, you know he has a plan for everything. The two term mayor, who can't run again due to term limits, plans to work every last second until the new mayor takes over. Well, I'm going to run all the way to the finish line. That's what you do. As passionate as he is for the city of Dallas, he doesn't see more politics in his future. I'm a business person, so I'll stay in business. Uh, and we'll uh, continue to figure out how we help small and mid-sized businesses grow. That's kind of uh, my, uh, uh, my special gift, and hopefully I can uh, contribute some more in, in, in this city in the future. That means continuing to push his Grow South initiative for the rest of his term and beyond. I sure hope the next mayor is going to be focused on southern Dallas. You know, I think that the job is to make sure you're the tiebreaker. And, and if, if there's any question, we need to have resources in southern Dallas versus north Dallas. He has some advice for the next mayor. Have a thick skin and get ready for the most intense job of your life. Wherever you go, people are intense. They're mad at you or they, they want something or they're excited about something. They're selling you on something. So the intensity level all the time is just at the, at the, at the highest level. Mayor Rawlings says that the biggest challenge of his eight years so came the night five officers were shot at the end of a rally in downtown. The violence broke out at the end of an already difficult day for him. We had uh, buried uh, my wife's mom that day and sat down uh, watching a Rangers game. He quickly realized this was not just a Dallas issue, but also a national one. So what does that mean as a country and how are we going to come together? over this and I realized Dallas needed to be a shining example on how to best do that. Do Rawlings really joined with other city that? leaders and went to work. He praised the police department and officers who worked tirelessly that week and the faith-based community that helped lift up the city in the time of crisis. It culminated in a way he could not have imagined when he first got that call. And what turned started as a tragedy was a triumphant moment. Uh, for Dallas standing there with President Bush and President Obama singing the battle hymn of the Republic. We were basically saying to evil, we can overcome this. And, and that was a, a great moment for Dallas. The new mayor will be sworn in on June 17th. After that, Rowling says he plans to take the rest of the summer off, spend time at home with family, then get back to work in the private sector.